Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is the Panda Man 3 and today I'm going to be showing you three applications that I've been using for streaming that have pretty much been essential for me for streaming in 2020 and 2021. So the first application we're going to check out today is called Snapcam. Uh, this application allows us to add Snapchat filters to our stream or through any video source. Um, so if you ever used Snapchat before, um, you know how you can add filters and so on. Um, you can pretty much do this with this program uh, through your computer or through OBS. As you can see here, we are in our Snapcam software now. Um, if you're not seeing anything at the top image up here, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, so what we need to do here is uh, we get our Snapcam settings, uh, choose your camera, you want to pick your camera, so mine will be the C922, just click on that, um, you can click the resolution and frame rate over there too, microphone you don't need to worry too much about, these other settings you can mess around with, um, optimize for green screen, if you have a green screen, um, turn that on, and then you should be done and your camera source should be showing up here. To do it into OBS, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so click, double click on your webcam source. Um, as you can see, devices up here. Uh, you might have your normal cam selected. What you want to click on is Snapcam, and it will be activated. So once you get that all set up, uh, it's pretty easy to use. Just click on a snap filter you like. Maybe this one. This one looks absolutely terrifying. Like this. As you can see, it kind of like tracks your head. If there's a snap filter that you really like, or want to assign it to a hotkey, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. So if if we really like this one, uh, we can hit the little favorite button up there. And then we go into the favorite section over there. And then click on the little hotkey button up here. So let's assign this to control S. And then save that right there. And so now every time we can press Control S, it'll activate, it'll deactivate, and it'll activate. Deactivate, and it'll activate. Why are we still here? And you can keep pressing it. Just to suffer. So the next application we're gonna be checking out is called Streamlabs Chatbot. Now I feel like Streamlabs has kind of forgotten about this program as it hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, but the reason why I like using Streamlabs Chatbot is there's a lot more customization you can do uh, with the chatbot. Uh, we can just run through some of the features it has. Uh, you can do a few things with this. So in this section, you have a bunch of your commands, as you do. Over here, you have your timers. Uh, so timed commands, they'll play automatically after a certain time. Um, over here, you have a bunch of quotes that you can add to your stream, uh, giveaways, uh, sound commands to your stream. As you can see, I've got way too many. Um, <laughs> um, you can even add song requests, which aren't too relevant anymore. Uh, DMCA, oof. You can add a queue, so if people want to join a game that you're playing, you can add a queue for people to wait in, so you can invite them in. Uh, we also have counters in here as well. You can see a bunch of your users. Mini games, there's a bunch of uh, point mini games here that you have as well, where, you, where your viewers can earn points for playing these mini games against each other or with each other. Now, this is the event list. This is where it kind of gets interesting now. So the event list kind of works out the way where like if someone will come into the stream for the first time in that in that stream, a sound will automatically play. So I like to call it like an entrance sound. So someone will walk in, so someone will come into the stream, say hey, and a sound will play automatically or a command. You can pretty much customize it to whatever you want. Um, I usually like to um, allow people to uh, to make these um, with their channel points. So if they earn enough channel points they could redeem one of these. So every time they come in, they get their little entrance sound. Got mod tools as well. He can uh, customize a bunch of uh, mods. So as you can see here, I have link protection on. So if someone puts a link, it'll delete the message automatically. Notifications. So if someone uh, says follows the channel, I can customize the thank you message to them or someone subscribes to the channel or cheers or donates. I can have a custom message to them and I can automatically give out points to people who uh, who give who who donate or follow or host the channel. 
So scripts, uh, this is where it kind of gets a little bit interesting. Uh, this is where you can uh, add custom commands to your Streamlabs chatbot, such as like the death counter. So every time someone types exclamation mark death, or if I die in a game, a little pop-up will come on my stream. I also have a caster overlay, which means if someone says raids my channel and we give them a shout out, um, their name, their channel will pop up on my screen so everyone can see. Here we have the first command, which is personally one of my favorite commands. So every time I start a new stream and someone comes in at the start of the stream, say 30 seconds in and types an exclamation mark first, they'll get, they'll get a certain amount of points. If someone else comes in after that, someone comes in second and types an exclamation mark first, um, they'll get second place, so they'll earn a certain amount of points. So we could go through all these other scripts I have here, but we'll be here all day. Um, but here I'm just demonstrating like all the possibilities that you can do with the uh, do with the scripts and stuff. Um, the scripts are pretty easy to access. You could pretty much just go to the Streamlabs chatbot website and um, find a bunch of scripts there and download them onto Streamlabs, and there you go. The final application we're going to be checking out today is called Leon Board. Uh, this application is personally one of my favorite applications um, and favorite things that came out of 2020 on, on Twitch, to be honest. So Leon Board is pretty much a tool um, that integrates with your Twitch chat and your OBS. So it lets your Twitch chat control sources, scenes, mic inputs, pretty much anything in OBS um, through chat. So this is a little tour of Leon Board. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different uh, folders that we can click into. Um, there's a bunch of different hotkeys. There's a few examples and what we can add. As you can see here, I have a few already. I've already um, activated with some point redeems, which is cool. A few redemptions here that will redeem certain sources and certain memes. As you can see, I've got quite a, quite a few that people can experiment with. This is a great way to have interaction with the community community can redeem rewards that pop up on the screen especially if you're out of ideas on what to redeem or what to use leon board's a great way for for viewers and chat to uh, redeem points on uh, on various things so i have another redemption here called mute panda for one minute so what this will do is it'll mute my audio for a whole minute so leon board is able to communicate with the audio devices and uh, be able to mute an audio source. So if I redeem that, shut up. <laughs> and now I'm muted for a minute, but you guys can hear me, but the stream wouldn't be able to hear me for a whole minute. So that was Leon board. It's a great application. Uh, it lets you be very creative with chat commands or point redemptions. Uh, the possibilities are pretty endless with the application. There's a lot you can do for it. There's a lot you can use for it. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. So that's three applications that I use for streaming. These applications have been great. Um, they've allowed me to be a lot more creative with what I could do with OBS and Twitch. If you'd like to download or use any of these applications, the links of the programs will be in the description. If you'd like to see any of these applications put in use, I stream on Twitch four days a week. If you have any questions about them, uh, let me know in the comments or on my Twitch channel. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Adios!